Everybody was very scared, of course. Nobody ever told us where we're going. So when we arrived in Auschwitz, we had no idea where we were. We never heard of Auschwitz. In 1944, when a year before the war was over, we never heard. Those are families of detainees. Their sons, their husbands were detained. This is another beast, of course. My mother and two little brothers were asked to go to one side and they disappeared. And then I was holding a younger sister. I was 13 and she was about 12. And he separated the two of us. And I was so shocked that my little sister was separated from everybody that I, I stopped, I didn't move. I'm shown here, right? Right here. The other prisoners who came before us, the first thing we asked them, when is the reunion? When do we meet our families? You know, what's the system? And they pointed to the chimneys. The chimneys were smoking, and a fire was coming out of chimneys, you know, not just smoke. They said, that's where your parents are. And we just said, crazy people, what, what did they do to you here to say such things? We did not believe it. And after a while, if you're there long enough, it begins to be true, but you don't believe it. You, say, you cannot, you cannot think that here is an enclosed system where the trains are coming day and night, and most of the people are killed, especially women and children, they're se separated and killed, and the smoke and the fires are burning day and night. How can you absorb that?